What is the ruling about taking test tube baby? I think that uh, uh, the question is referring to IVF. And this is an issue of dispute. The most authentic opinion is, one, if you don't have children at all, condition one, that you don't have children. Someone who has one or two children and would like to have a bit more, or he has only one girl and he'd like to have a twin. No, this is not permissible. You have, a, alhamdulillah, and been blessed. blessed. This is sufficient. So you, don't, you must not have any children. Condition number two, the sperm is from the man, the husband himself. Condition number three, the egg being fertilized is from the wife herself. Condition number four, the fertilized embryo or fetus or whatever they call it, is to be planted back in the womb of the mother. So there is no concept of surrogate mothers. This is totally prohibited. You cannot borrow an egg from a donor or a sperm from a donor. This is totally haram and not permissible. Condition five, the clinic you're being treated in is run by trustworthy, hopefully Muslims or people. Because I remember reading in the news about three months ago uh, of an American couple going uh, uh, through IVF, ending up with a Chinese child. So definitely somebody goofed somewhere. Either the sperm wasn't his, or the egg wasn't hers, or both. The fertilized embryo was neither one of them, and by mistake they got it. Islam pays a lot of importance to such issues, and if these conditions are fulfilled, inshallah, it is okay.